Hi, I'm Gary Aiken with Kessler Soils Engineering Products Inc. And in this video, we want to begin the training sessions for using the Kessler DCP or Dynamic Comb Penetrometer. We're going to be using a K100M kit, but the, what you see in these videos applies to all of the K100 series um, DCPs that Kessler provides. To start off, I want to go through the outline for the training videos. This video is the introduction one and introduces you to the overview of the manual, the CD that's included in every kit, and the other uh, training videos. After this training video, the next one you should watch is the kit components, which goes through and describes each component that comes in a kit. and identifies them as well as the assembly that that um, is required. The next video after kit components is the maintenance, service, and warranty video. That explains to you the maintenance, gives you some helpful hints on keeping your DCP in new condition, and helps you um, understand the warranty as well as how to get service for your DCP. Then, the next video is going to be our safety video. It goes through the safety and precautions in using your DCP to keep you and your employees from getting hurt while using the device. Along with that, we'll talk about other uh, safety factors that should be taken into consideration when working on construction sites or around heavy equipment. And finally, the videos on data collection and data reduction where we show the use of the DCP in the field and how you collect the data, how to use the manual uh, uh, data sheet, and um, how you can derive your CBRs and your bearing strengths. Okay. So to give you some of the background of the DCP, and the, specifically the Kessler DCP, which meets the ASTM requirements, we, th these DCPs were built around the patented research from the Corps of Engineers that developed the hammer size, hammer configuration, and the cone shape and configuration to develop the correlations that provide you with your bearing strengths and your CBRs. Okay, in this section we're going to go through the manual. The manual that comes with every DCP outlines two ways of collecting the data. The first one is with the vertical scale, which is what we'll be demonstrating in the data collection video later. And the second one is a DCP without a vertical scale. But, and it describes how to use each one of those as well as the correlations. The final part in the manual talks about the maintenance warranty references to the correlations that are included in the manual and also a parts list if you ever need to order spare parts. You can order spare parts on the our website, the www.kesslerdcp.com. -E okay, so let's go through the manual. This should be your the manual that you have for your K100. We're going to zoom in here so you get a better view of the pages in the manual. Then on the inside cover is the safety notices. It talks about the pinch points and we'll go into more detail in the safety video with those later. And also the, the rolling hazard on flat surfaces. The other side is your index which shows the part one with the ver DCP with vertical scale, the part two DCP without vertical scale, and the part three that covers the other items that we, we mentioned earlier in this video. So as you go through, it talks about the application of the dynamic cone penetrometer using a vertical scale. It talks about the eight kilogram hammer, or since it's a dual mass hammer in this case, you can reduce it down to the 10.1 pound uh, hammer from the 17.6 pound hammer and we'll show you how to do that in later videos. Okay, moving on, there's a diagram on page two of, of the manual that shows you the configuration of the dynamic comb penetrometer with a vertical scale. 
Then as you move on into section two description, it shows pictures of, of the dual mass hammer, one with the 17.6 pound or 8 kilogram, and the 10.1 pound or 4.6 kilogram hammer. On the next page, it shows the quick disconnect um, method of attaching the drive rod to the upper assembly. This, is, uh, this, this allows quick connection between those two pieces and allows you to get to your testing quickly in the field. Then on page 5 over here, it talks about the disposable cones and the adapters that hold the disposable cones while you're testing and the hardened points that are reusable for multiple tests. Moving to page, on page 6, it finishes up with the descriptions of the various drive rods that are available and extensions that are available, as well as other optional uh, items such as the magnetic ruler, which collects data at, for a one-person operation of a dynamic comb penetrometer. Then on page three, you got the procedures. It talks about equipment checks that we'll go through. We'll talk about those before you go out in the field or after you get in the field to check to make sure your DCP is ready for testing and we'll give you valid results. Then the assembly of the dynamic comb penetrometer. Then the drive rods and how to use extensions. Then the testing sequence of dropping the hammer, collecting the data, and, and uh, performing the test. You have the initial readings here, and then you have the recording methods here. Of how you, either you can do it on the manual spreadsheet that's included in the kit, or you can, uh, if you're using a magnetic ruler, it will collect it for you. Or you can uh, use your own sheet to collect it. Some pictures of, of it in use at a site. Then over here it talks about the magnetic ruler a little bit, and then data recording. Finally, back here on page 14 are the correlations that, that the um, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers research is based upon and also the correlations that are based on the tables that are in the manual. So this, this page here, page 15, is a DCP data sheet. This is the manual collection method. This is what we'll be using today to collect our data. As you can see, it has number of blows, cumulative penetration, the penetration between readings, the penetration per blow, the hammer blow factor. So when you're using the full 17.6 pound hammer, you have a factor of one. And when you're using the 10.1-pound uh, hammer, then you have a factor of two. And that later is uh, used to multiply your penetration per blow to give you your DCP index number, which is what you use to look up the CBR percentage. And then if you're collecting moisture, either through a, 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 a speedy or some other type of moisture device, you can uh, record the moisture over here on the side. Here's the table that correlates with your DCP index to the CBR percentage. Okay? And that's, that's the manual. The second part goes through the same thing without a vertical scale where you uh, either measure between the two inch marks that are on the drive rods or you mark your drive rod and measure how many blows it takes to go between your marks on the drive rod. And it goes through the same thing. The procedures talks about not using the hammer beyond refusal. And again, the correlations, which are the same in both sections. Here's, here you have another correlation table that is usable. Here you have the hammer with a 17.6 pound and the hammer with a 10.1. So the multiplication of the index is not required here. And then you can go straight across with the number of blows to get your CBR based on your soil type, CL, CH, or other. And then the same thing for your bearing strengths, your uh, pounds per square foot on your soil types here. Okay. Here's uh, another table with the with the uh, the correlations, and another one with the correlations here. All right. Then part three has the maintenance section. That's the first section here. Uh, very short. It's very simple maintenance. We'll go through that in a video and show you how to do that. Then the references that are the basis of the Corps of Engineer correlations. And then the warranty page that goes into details of, of the, what the warranty includes and does not include. 
And then the last page in the manual is the parts list. It gives you the part, the part, the description of the part and the part number so that it's easy to order them either by calling us or by going online and ordering the replacement parts. No. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go into the final section of the introduction video. We've already covered the contents of the manual in the earlier sections. We've also gone through the listing of the videos that are available for training on the use of the dynamic comb penetrometer. Now in the final section, we want to go through the contents of the, the CD that's provided with every kit. This CD has six items on it. The first item is it has the K100 user's manual in PDF form to reference or to put it on your computer where you can reference it and look at it. It also has a hard copy of the data collection sheet that we talked about in the manual on page 15 where it has a, a full size 8.5 by 11 one that you can print out from that. In addition, there's an Excel spreadsheet where you can load onto your PC and then manually enter your data to calculate the CBRs and to give a chart on where you can see different layers as you've done your testing. You can identify the layers in your soils. So with that, along with that, the mag ruler produces a file that is uploadable into that Excel spreadsheet automatically. There's also an Excel spreadsheet instructions of how to install it. It does include macros. So you have to make adjustments in your, your computer most uh, computer setups, disable the macros, and you have to enable the macros on that spreadsheet for it to work. And the final item on there is that if you don't have Adobe Acrobat a reader on your computer, there's instructions also included to, uh, to be able to download the reader so that you can read the manual and use the uh, data collection spreadsheet. So with that, this concludes the first video of our training series, and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, that you proceed on next to the co kit component video. Thank you.